Hello folks, it's Harith from Bonsai Labs. Today I will show you how you can get data from Material UI's text field component and use in your React projects. I will open up the code sandbox and create a new sandbox based on official React template. I will make change to the heading to make sure it reflects correctly in the output. Then I will add a dependency of Material UI core to the project. Let me quickly change the font size of the editor to make sure you can see the code well. Next, I will import the text field component from Material UI core library. Then, I will add the text field component to our render and add a value of Bonsai Labs to it. With that, we can see our text field appeared on the output window. I will add a variant property to text field so that we have rounded corners around it. Now, as you can see, when I click inside the text field, I am not able to update the value, no matter what I type. This is because the value of the text field is fixed. To make it variable, we need to keep this in the state. I will import useStateReact hook from React. Then I will add a new variable called value and a corresponding function called setValue by calling useState and set the initial value to be an empty string. I will now update text field component to use the value variable instead of a hard-coded value of Bonsai Labs. With that, we can see the text field is now empty, but I'm still not able to update it. For that, I need to use the onChange attribute on the text field component, which accepts the handler function. I will add a new function called handleClick, which takes an event as argument and prints the value passed to the event on the console using e.target.value. Then I will pass this handle change to onChange attribute. Let's test it now. I will open up the console tab here. Now, as I type in the text box, the characters appeared on the console, but they still do not update the text field component. This is because we have not set the value for value variable. I do that now by calling setValue method inside handle click and passing the value e.target.value to it. With that, now as I type in the text field, it gets updated in the component and also logged on the console. Great, so you now know how to get the value from Material UI's text field component. If you want us to cover more topics and specific questions, leave the comment below and we will add them to our queue for future videos. Keep creating good things. See you next time.